hello guys welcome back to tutorial race in this video you are learning springboard guys in the previous video i displayed you i showed you i demonstrated you that how you can uh, install extension in uh, visual studio code and in visual studio code itself rather than eclipse and netbits and other uh, such ide inside visual studio code itself you can develop a complete replication of java springboard so guys in this video this is the first uh, program in the hello world program i will show you that how you can create a hello world program a very basic program in uh, uh, you know uh, visual studio code id the spring boot application so let me show you step by step step that how you can do that let's start to create the, any uh, application any program you have two options three options actually control shift p either control shift p press from keyboard and from here uh, you can spring initializer using this you can create any application this is the first one second one is you can see here this one getting started with the spring boot from here also you can create my favorite is if you click here then you can see create java project click here and then here you need to select spring boot spring boot this one after this Marvel project okay so after this the next step is you need to select this one and uh, after that java and com so i'll select here this software press enter demo this is your project name so um, hello hello that's it hello world okay this is the project name after this select jar and this is the java version which version of java you want to use since by the time this video is recorded 17 is stable or else you can select 21 23 i am selecting here 17 okay after this what you have to select select spring boot tool tabs this one and then next one i'll select spring wave at least the, the, these two i'm selecting and then pressing enter after this you have to uh, create any folder for that i will create here say um, hello world hello world right now generate the folder here once generated you will see here open after clicking this trust then you wait for downloading the files you don't hurry because only it is possible that some file may not be uh, get uh, downloaded properly and get interrupted so that's why unless it's complete here then you should wait so i'm waiting here it's still downloading right it's done now let's go to src then main and resources you can see static templates this two has been created successfully and now inside java okay inside java what you have to do let's create one uh, folder called controller since uh, this framework this is a framework which is based on mbc so that's why first we will create here controller inside controller we will create here home controller dot java okay after this what you have to do you write here controller okay and then at the rate get mapping and i will name it as forward slash that means this will be the home page and we don't need currently this one so let's remove it and i will put it as home and here return home let's delete return home no longer we need this so we can delete that's it okay once this is done then the next step will be go to templates and then create one file here called home dot home dot html right here i will write a very simple uh, Welcome to Spring Boot. 
that's it so what it will do actually this is the controller controller will handle here and it will check the path which path do you want so we are saying that okay the path is home and then what will happen this is the method inside this this is the file name the html file this one template name okay in further video we will know more about this but this is enough you don't have to write here dot html just home is sufficient right after this we, you have to create insert template the folder name will be template itself and the home dot html that's it now we have to run the program and see the result that's it now let's go to browser and then localhost localhost sorry and 8080 this one okay so there is some error that's why why that the error is mostly because we have to specify here in pom.xml theme lib if you are using this template then you have to use theme lib okay so in that case in dependencies here org or spring dot boot uh, this will be same and here you need to we have to specify this one org or spring framework dot boot that means what this will be same and this one spring and yes click here yes, here spring hyphen boot dot starter my theme lib theme lib that means what we are going to use this template okay that's why now let the ref let's refresh it and see the magic still there is some error something is missing it looks like no static resource home 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 we have created no? templates home dot html and uh, shell control h o m e home is fine let's cut it and try to run it again if still there is error then we have to check pom.xml again okay now it's working sometimes if it, if it doesn't work then you have to cut and restart again so now guys you can see welcome to spring boot so this is very basic but at least you can understand you can you can know that how you can run the spring boot project inside the visual studio code visual studio code is normally known for javascript program but it's very vast and uh, with extension you can uh, run complete java application as well so guys in the further video i will be bringing such useful uh, videos so stay connected and see you in the next video bye bye